Alright guys, so a couple of days ago I made a video about some common misconceptions that foreigners have of Thailand and Thai people. So uh, today I want to make a similar video which is some common misconceptions that Thai people have of foreigners. So before anyone roasts me, this is all in good nature and th this is all information that's been given to me by Thai friends and Thai people that I know. So this is just some stereotypes and some common misconceptions that a lot of Thai people have of foreigners. Now for the context of this video, uh, foreigner by foreigner I mean uh, a Westerner. So I don't mean uh, someone from Cambodia or Vietnam or anyone like that. Foreigner by this context is Westerner. So this is some common misconceptions that Thai people have of Westerners. So anyway, number one. First misconception that a lot of Thai people have of Westerners is that all foreigners are rich. So all Westerners have loads of money and they come to Thailand on vacation and they have all these bank accounts with these savings through their noses and through their ears, you know. Which really, yeah, we know it, we know it's all bullshit, but it's just a little stereotype that a lot of Thais have of of, of Western people is that Western people are rich normally because Western people are out here on vacation so they don't really think of like Westerners as being poor um, another one another misconception is that foreigners can't eat spicy food so this is a common one that a lot of Thai people think and a lot of my foreign friends will frequently complain about when they're ordering food so, uh, me personally, I'm, I'm not a fan of Thai food generally, so I don't tend to eat it much. But I am a fan of Indian food, and I'm a fan of Mexican food as well. But I'm not a fan of spicy food, so I fit that stereotype. But I have some very good friends who love spicy food and are really crazy about spicy food. And they'll find themselves going to a market, ordering something. And they'll be with a Thai person who orders the same thing, but they want the, the, the food that the Thai person gets is way spicier than the food that the Westerner gets even though they ordered the same thing because a lot of Thais kind of automatically assume that um, foreigners don't like spicy food and they can't handle spicy food so they won't make it spicy so that's a common complaint among spice lovers is that they're ordering their food and it comes out not spicy um, anyway I don't I don't tend to eat spicy food so I wouldn't know so much about that personally but it's just something I've heard a lot about uh, another common misconception that a lot of Thais have of foreigners is that foreigners cannot speak Thai. They don't know Thai language. Which is not necessarily true. I mean, obviously a lot of tourists don't really bother learning the language. And there are plenty of expats who don't as well. But there are a lot of people here who do learn the language. Who learn the language very good. They can speak fluently. They can even read and write Thai. There's a common misconception among many Thais that foreigners can't speak Thai or don't understand Thai. And that can be quite amusing when you're in a public place like a restaurant or a shop or somewhere like that and you can hear people basically talking about you. You can hear them blatantly talking about you in their language. And sometimes I've even had people trash talking me before, talking shit about me. And they think that I don't understand. It's really funny because then what will happen is I'll go to the cashier or the waitress will come and I'll order whatever food that comes in Thai. Or I'll just say something to that person in Thai. I'll be like, hello, huh? Like, what? 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 What's that? And they'll be like, oh my god, he understands, he understood us. And they suddenly freak out and they like shit themselves when they realize that you actually understood what it was that they were saying. So it can be quite amusing, but it can also be quite annoying because a lot of the time you can hear what people think about you or people are saying about you, even if it's not so obvious by the way they're acting or the way they're behaving. So yeah, that's a common misconception that a lot of Thais have is that foreigners can't speak Thai or don't understand Thai language. A similar thing to that is the culture. A lot of them think that foreigners know nothing about Thai culture, which I won't go into, but it is a common stereotype that foreigners have no awareness towards the local culture at all. Um, another stereotype that applies specifically for the men more, more than for the girls is that a lot of them think that men come here for Thai women or they come here to go to to go with girls from the bars or girly bars or go-go's and that kind of thing which is not true there's plenty of dudes here who just come here on vacation who come here on holiday or who have perfectly good girlfriends of their own western women so not everybody comes to thailand for for the thai women but a lot of like a common question that a lot of foreigners will ask 
will be asked, sorry, a lot of a common question that Thai people tend to ask uh, you if you're a foreign guy is like, oh, so what do you think of Thai women or do you like Thai girls or something? And it can be kind of like a dead-end question because if you say like, yeah, yeah, I like Thai girls, I like Thai women, then, then they think you're a sex bad or they think you're a sex tourist or a loser from your, for, who can't get a girlfriend in his own country. And on the other side of the coin, if you say that you're not into Thai women, then they'll think that like, oh, why, why do you not like Thai women? Or are women not good enough for you? So it's almost kind of like a dead end question if they ever ask you that. And I've been asked that question a couple of times by, by people. I mean, it's best just not to go down that path. Uh, I can't speak specifically for women because uh, like Thailand's not so famous for, should I say female sex tourism or whatever it is that you call it, I don't know, but yeah. It is quite common if you're a, if you're a Western man that you'll be asked that question. Another thing is they'll quite often ask like, "Do you have a girlfriend or a wife?" Or they'll ask you some very personal questions, which um, is, it tends to be quite rude in Western culture. But out here, it is quite normal just to ask things like that, and quite bluntly as well, I might add. So that's another misconception: is that foreign men come here for the women. Um, another common stereotype that Thais have, not so much of Western people, but of Western countries generally. See, a lot of Thais don't know the difference between Western countries and Western people. They tend to have this one, this one image, this one world of like the Western world. They call uh, so Western people are called Farang. Uh, that, that's white people. White people are called Farang. Black people are called Kondam. Uh, Indians and Arabs are called Kek. And that applies for those people, no matter what country they're from. So if you're a, uh, an, an Indian ethnic person from the UK, you'll be called a Kek. And if you're a white person from wherever, you'll be called a Farang. It doesn't matter where you're from. A lot of them kind of don't know the difference between Western countries and Western, like, Western places generally. Uh, another common misconception uh, that they have of Western countries is that all Western countries are cold. They think all foreign countries, they say foreign countries, all foreign countries are cold. They have snow and a lot of places are cold and have snow, but a lot of places don't as well. They, they, they have this image in their head that Thailand is the only place in the world that's like really hot and tropical. Like they, they have no clue that there's other tropical places out there as well. So they think if you're a white person that you automatically come from a cold country. Which is not necessarily true like if you're from somewhere like Florida, uh, Northern Australia, South Africa, Brazil. Which has a, which these places all have white people in them, Farang people. But they're not what you could call a cold place, they're tropical climates. Not factoring in like Mediterranean Europe or some of the other parts of that area of the world. So they think that all Western countries are cold, which is, well, true depending on where, where you are. Like I said, the world's a big place, geography is crazy. So yeah, that's a common stereotype. So they think like, they'll assume like, if you come to Thailand, they'll, they'll, like, it'll be such a shock on your system. They'll, they'll be asking you, oh, are you okay? You know, it's so hot here. It's so hot here. It must be so cold where you come from and stuff like that, which yeah, if you're from England or, from Canada in the winter then yeah it probably is cold but you know if busted flies in here again but if you come from Florida then it's not going to be such a shock to your system uh, another misconception that Thais have of Westerners is that all Westerners are English speaking all Westerners speak English or all white people speak English which um, a lot of a lot of people here do speak English and but as we all know, not every Western country is English speaking. There's all sorts of languages from all sorts of places in the world. And there are all sorts of white people, Farangs, who, who don't speak English. Even those here who come to Thailand, there's a lot of, especially Russians, a lot of Russian expats in Pattaya and a lot of Russian tourists who, who, who don't speak English at all, who are quite often worse at English than a lot of Thai people are. So it is a common assumption by a lot of Thai people that um, all white people are English speaking so uh, anyway so if there's any Thai people out there who feel like they want to add some contributions or uh, any other stereotypes of the Thais have of, of Western people or Western countries generally then feel free to hit me up 
drop us a message. Remember, all this stuff is just in taken in good context, so don't get offended by it if you think I'm stereotyping you, because I know that not all Thai people are the same, in the same way that not all Westerners are the same. All this information was given to me by Thai friends and Thai people that I know. So anyway, any questions, feel free to hit us up. Peace out.